نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم اما بعد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي رب زدني علما اللهم لا سهل الا ما جعلته سهلا وانت تجعل الحسن اذا شئت سهلا so uh, this is the session we have resumed we are resuming today our sessions and uh, inshallah we'll continue with our sessions uh, we'll be having uh, sessions twice a week at least but uh, there will be uh, i i am planning to have a complete week with you i will decide the time and inshallah i'll let you know that how we are going to resume everything and also we are going to uh, have <clears throat> practice extensive practice and we'll also uh, plan to start uh, a dialogue al hiwar so that is what arabi takallum inshallah takallum fil lughat al arabiyya we will start that as well inshallah so we were doing uh, the surf conjugation we were working on the verb so before we uh, start a new concept before we go for a new concept learn new concepts and those people uh, one of the brothers it seems that uh, he is from batch one a batch two but he has joined us uh, inshallah, if we'll be having any problems, we'll solve them, inshallah. Don't worry about that. So, from all the students, if I ask you a question, what is Mizan Sarfi? How we understand Mizan Sarfi? Scales. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay, what is it? Okay, so we have got Mizan and Sarfi. Uh, how can we understand the application of them? Means, so do we apply to only one of the uh, means grammatical points? Are there certain different points in Afal? In verb. <laughs> How many types did we learn about the verb? What are the types of verbs in Arabic? The fa'lun. Fa'l is how many types? And how Seven can types you... of study. Huh? Oh, sorry, sorry. Three, three. Three types. What are they? Three, three types. Mm -hmm. Amr, Madi, Mubari, and Amr. That is the further classification of verb. When we go into the de in depth, into deep understanding of verb, then we have got different classifications. Now that you are talking about fell means uh, Madi, Mozare, Amr. Okay. Then other classification, malum, majhul. Then we have other classification, uh, present perfect tense, past perfect tense, present continuous tense, past continuous tense, like uh, may not be present continuous, but past continuous tense. And amar, then amar hadir, amar ghaib, nahi, nahi hadir, nahi ghaib, right? Ism file, ism maful, ism tafzil. Uh, various classifications. We are not talking at the moment about those classifications. The first, and we have got also seven types of verb, hafta aqsa, you know that. But when we talk about the first, means mm -hmm. that uh, mizan sarfi, how we are going to apply mizan sarfi, then initially, what are those types of verb? Oh, is that the so yeah. Sir, is that six, sir? No. Oh. It is Tulati Mumazid, Tulati Mujarad, and Rubai Mazid, Rubai Mujarad. First of all, we, we can say that uh, there are two types in verb, especially, and three types in ism. In verb, Tulati and Rubai. Tulati means three 
original letters and rubai four original letters then we've got further types thalathi mazid fi and rubai mazid fi do you understand that yes so what is thalathi by the way Three letters? Three letters. No, if I'm asking you, first of all, you must reply in this way that Thulasi is of two types. Thulasi Mujarrad and Thulasi Mazidfi. Then try to explain what is Thulasi Mujarrad. Yes. Go ahead. So, can I go? Yes, yes, yes. Eman, go ahead. Yes, Eman. Gee. So, there are two types of Thulati. The first is Thulati Mujarrad, and Thulati Mazid is the second. In Thulati uh -huh. Mujarrad, you only have three root letters, and uh -huh. in Thulati Mazid, there are additions to those three root letters. Okay, addition to three root letters means extra letters? Yes, extra letters. Okay, what is the mizan of those three root letters? Fa'ain and lam. Very good. And there, how many families are over there? In three? In Mujarrad, yes. There are six. In Mujarrad, there are six. And in Mujarrad, oh, stick to, stick to Mujarrad. Wait. <laughs> there are six. Six, okay. What are those six? <laughs> uh, you want me to mention all of them? Nafara Yansuru, Baraba Yabribu, Fataha Yaftahu, Hasiba Yahsibu, and Sharufa Yashru. Okay. Anyone else? How to describe those six families? What is the way? If somebody is asking you, tell us about Thulathi Mujarrad. You are telling there are three root letters. Are there are three are three huruf asli, fa ain lam, right? When we talk about the six families that belong to Thulathi Mujarrad, how will you reply? What are those six families? Try, sir. Yes, please. Faala yaf ulu. Faala yaf ulu. Faala yaf ilu. Faala yaf ilu. Faala yaf alu. Faala yaf alu. Faula yaf ulu. Faila yaf ilu. Is that correct, sir? Okay, me this should be correct, but in order. I want those six families in order with examples. Now let's see who is going to reply that. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, good. So these are the six families we see. There are six families in Sulati Mujarrad. How can we describe that? That these families start with, because we have to tell their Ozan, Mizan is Sarfi. So what is the Mizan? Like the first family is Fa'ala Yaf'ulu, for example, Nasara Yansuru. Did we? Did I tell you various verbs that that belong to this family or not? Do you remember? Did I share with you a lot of verbs with their meanings that belong to fa'ala yafulu? Do you remember? Yes. Okay, number one thing. Number two, if means now we, we have been discussing that means fa'ala yafulu nasara yansuru. 
Now, I, if I ask you, it's another type from seven types. What is its type? You mean the seven, uh, uh, the sohe, the methyl? Yes. So what type is it? Um, uh, the, the sohe, uh, for example, nasoro, um, do not Nasoro yansuru. Nasoro yansuru. What type is it from seven types? From half the uh, aksam. The, the, the sohe, so, uh, no, say. Sahih. sahih. And the reason being, the reason being no. it is it sahih. It not contain uh, any no. of the no. no, Hamza. It does not contain any harf illat. Ha any harf illat from huruf illat. Okay. And yes. what are the huruf yes. illat? Uh, uh, Hamza. Hamza. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Hamza. Wow. Yeah. Hamza, wow, yeah. Okay, if I say it is, uh, uh, do you remember any word? Say, for example, if I say madda ya muddu, then what it should be? Madda ya muddu. Muzaf. It is muzaf, and for the reason being? Because it contains two letters. Which are the double letters? Because there are two similar letters. That's why. There are two similar letters. So it was yes. what? It was what it initially? Was mudaf. It was Mudaf. No, it, is... it was like Madada. It was Madada, then it became Madda. Okay, because of Edgham. So Madada, Madda, and Yamuddu. So it's from Fa'ala Yaf'ulu. So remember that. And the second wasn't like Fa'ala Yaf'ilu, Gharaba Yadribu. If I say Wa'ada Ya'idu, then what is it? That's Mithal Wawi. Mithal Wawi. And if I say Gharaba Yadribu, what is it? Sahih. Sahih. Sahih, mashallah. Okay, then we come to the third, that is, fa'ila yaf'alu, that is, alima ya'lamu. Any example from haftah sam, other than sahih? Do you have any example? You must be having many examples. Wajid la yawjalu. It is fa'ila ya fa'ilu. Ali ma ya'alamu. Sami'a asma'u. Yes? What is other examples other than sahih? Anyone? Wajila yawjalu. Wajila yawjalu. Just say mithal. Okay, this is what? Mithal? Ji, it's mithal wawi. Uh, why, yai, misal yai. Misal vavi, wajila, it's wajila. Wow comes in the kalimatul far. Okay, then we have got fa'ala ya fa'alu fataha yaftahu. Any example from haftaqsam? Other than sahih. Mashallah, you were doing your practices, revisions. I want to listen from you today. I want to know the, the revision you have been making. What is it? The word. I gave you a lot of uh, words containing. Is yara, yarrow, okay? Yara, yarrow. Yarrow. Yara. Yara, yara. I'm just guessing. <laughs> then you say Kara Ayakara. What is it? Kara Ayakara. Mm. Uh, I told you Mahmoud, no? Mahmoud. Don't ask me, man. Answer me. Why are you asking me? 
Okay, doesn't matter. So uh, these were the six chapters from. I mean, so now we have got fa'ila yafilu, hasiba yahsibu, and fa'ula yafulu, that is karuma yakurumu, or sharufa yashurufu, six chapters or shift families of Thulathi Mujarrad. Anyone from you remembers or has memorized the chapters of Thulasi Mazid Fi? Only likewise, the Ozan, do you remember? Or Mizan is Sarfi of Thulasi Mazid Fi. How many chapters are there? How many chapters? The 12? 12 chapters. No, you think or are you sure? Anyone from you who is sure about this? Uh, I'll have to count. Count, count, hurry up. Anyone who remembers? Sister Rida, you, you seem very quiet today. What happened? Sir, assalamu alaikum. Sorry, sir. Actually, I can't participate, participate actively. Uh, I have to go to school, pick my kids. So I'm just listening. I don't want to miss the class. That's why. I'm cooking Allah, just Allah, listening. Uh, and Allah, now Allah, I Allah, Allah, make, uh, make it time. easy for you. Uh, but uh, uh, inshallah, if we meet tomorrow, will you be available to participate? Yes, so, sir. Inshallah. What time is, is the uh, Today's Juma. That's why uh, this is uh, the yes, timing yes. for school. Yes, yes, I understand. And what mm, after one thirty? Anytime. One thirty uh, on Saturday. Uh, tomorrow for tomorrow after one thirty. Ha! Hmm. Huh. After one thirty, uh, any Pakistan time one thirty is okay. The, here it will be two p.m. Uh, that will be fine. Two p.m. Indian time, 1.30 Pakistan time, and after that, any time. Okay, so uh, any any examples or any, uh, uh, Bob, you remember, family member there from Thulasi Masjid Fee? Huh? There are 13. Uh, there are 13. J -j we'll decide that. So the through. first one was uh, Afalun Akram It is Afalun Amman, are you sure? Akram no, no, that is correct. Akram, yes. Akram, no, no. The, the, but Bab, the family, the Bab, the chapter, should it be Af'alun or If'alun? Uh, now, sir, I wanted to ask you actually this because in one book it is written If'alun, in the second it's written Af'alun. So I don't know which one is correct now. If'alun, correct. Babu, if, babun, If'alun. Akrama yukrimu ikramun faha mukrimun. Ukrima yukramu ikramun fazak mukramun. Do you remember this? Okay. So how many chapters? In total first. Tell me in the total. Anyone who remembers. We'll go through that. Don't worry about that. And uh, those who are newcomers, don't worry about this. Inshallah, we'll revise for you. How many chapters are there? Thirteen was that? Are you sure? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. For Sulati Mazid, right? Yes, I am asking you about Sulati Mazid. The question is this, how many chapters are there in Thulasi Mazid Fi? The number of families in Thulasi Mazid Fi, right? We have got six families. 
for six chapters in Thulathi Mujarrad. Now the question is about Thulathi Mazithi. Now we know the difference. In Thulathi Mujarrad, we've got three root letters. They are Fa, Ain, Lam, right? And they will remain the same root letters in Thulasi Mazid fi, like even we talk about Babun Ifalun, Afala Yufailu. Now there are three root letters, and one of them is extra or additional. Like we've got Babun Tafailun, like Fa'ala Yufailu, Varraba Yuzarribu. So again, there is one additional letter. Like then we have got istaghfara yastaghfiru. Now in that we have got more additional or extra letters and three root letters. When we talk about rubai, in rubai there are four root letters. Are huruf asli, fa, ain, lam, lam. Then when we talk about rubai mazidfi, there are certain extra letters in the abuab. So as we have got six chapters in Thulasi Mujarrad, what is the number of cha chapters in Thulasi Mazid Fi? I'm not talking about, I told you everything, how many additional letters are in each chapter. If you remember, we discussed them thoroughly. Yes, 12 chapters. Is that correct? Yes. Anyone from you remember all means have memorized the chapters like Babe, Babun, Ifalun. Do you remember? No, no, no. If you, if you have memorized, don't tell me from the book. If you have memorized or if you haven't memorized, doesn't matter. You still have time. This is not, I'm not taking your ikhtibar. This is not exam. Just trying to understand that who have memorized or who has memorized from all of you the details of chapters and also the additional letters. Okay, if, if I ask, I ask you, huh? yes, yes, I Emma. Try to. so uh, can you try right now? Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Uh, what is the question? Is that sorry? First question was, how many chapters in Thulathi Mazid Fi? And if the answer is 12, what are those chapters? Now, you have to name the chapters alongside telling the exact three root letters and also the additional one, two, or three letters. They are what? Mazid Fi. They have been added to Horu Fesli. Now, do you understand the question? Gee, I can try. <laughs> uh, because I don't remember it being 12. I remember it being 13. If you don't remember, it doesn't matter. But now you must note it down in your notebook that you should memorize these chapters. And also the chapter heading like if alun then what are the huruf asli in that and which one is the extra letter? Then if we talk about babi tafa'ul, then what is the three root letters and what is the extra letter? If we talk about babun mufa'alatun, then what are the additional letters and what are the three root letters? Likewise, if we talk about babun ifti'alun, what are the huruf asli and what are the extra letters? If we talk about babun infi'alun, what are the huruf asli and what are the extra letters? And if we talk about babi if'ilalun, again the same. If'ilalun, again the same question. Istifi'alun, again the same question. And if'i'alun, again the same question. So you have to memorize them, the, whatever the number of the chapters and what are the details. Right now, it come on again. Question now, this is this is uh, I, I understand that many of you haven't memorized uh, these chapters, so note it in your notebook that you have to memorize the chapter number of the chapters and also 
the names of the chapters with the extra letters. Two extra letters to Huruf Asli. Understood? Yes, sir. Now, now it comes to Rubai. What does Rubai mean? It means any verb that consists of four original or root letters or huruf asli. And what should be those or what are those huruf asli? Fine, lam, lam. Very good. So in now the rubai is again of how many types? Two types, Ustad. Two types. Number one is Rubai Mujarrad and Rubai. The second is Rubai Mazidfi. Mazidfi, very good. So when we talk about Rubai Mujarrad, how many chapters in Rubai Mujarrad? One. Only one chapter. So do you remember the name of the chapter? Mm. Uh, yes, it is Fa'lal. 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 Fa fa it is Fa'in Lam Lam. So but it I is Babun Fa'lalatun. Babun Fa'lalatun. Yes, yes, yes. And the example of that? Dahraja yes. Yudahariju. Dahraja. Dahraja Yudahariju. Is it correct? So dahraja yudahriju, is it uh, sahih or what? what is it? Sahih. Okay. Now the other again question. What, how, uh, what is the rubai mazid fi? It is four root letters of a verb with added uh, letters in the root letter. So how many chapters are there? Three. Are you sure? J. Yeah. Everybody is sure about three chapters of Rubai Mazid Fi? I'm asking all others as well. Rubai Mazid Fi. MashaAllah, our bro brother Mutahir has also joined us from all the way, United Kingdom, Bradford. Alaikum salam, Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I didn't say so, but mashallah, jazakallah khair for uh, your reply. So, brother, we are doing uh, some uh, revision. This is our uh, the first class after so many days. So, uh, we are trying to know that how many people have gone through the revision and have memorized various things are various grammatical points. So as you uh, also learned about surf and nahaw, so you do you remember uh, Rubai Mazid Fi and their chapters as well? To be honest with you, Sheikh, I feel a bit lost. <laughs> no issues, not at all. Actually, here we are not going to make any muhasiba in those terms, strict terms. We are trying to encourage each other to memorize to spend our more time in learning try to understand the things then we discuss together uh, in an interactive way to re-strengthen everything or reinforcing everything right Gee. okay okay brother inshallah we'll be discussing uh, brother mutahir now others do you remember those chapters three chapters three chapters with examples Mm, yeah. Yes. Means have you memorized or you have you opened the book in front of you? <laughs> no, no, I have memorized this. Okay. Go ahead. Uh the actual name, okay. So it is Tafa'lulun and it is Tadahraja ya Tadahraju. Okay. Tafa'lulun Tafa'lulun. Babun Tafa'lulun. Right. Yeah. And Tadahraja. Tafa Okay. Tadaharaju. Yatadaharaju. Okay. Then the other other chapter, the second one. The second is if in lal. 
يحرنجم يا حرنجم اوكي فيري جود احرنجم يا حرنجم فيري جود ذن and then it is if illal ha babun if illalun and that is what if sha'irra yak okay if sha'irra yak sha'irru ik sha'irra yak sha'irru or ik sha'irra yak sha'irru what were you saying actually the voice broke very good very good so do we have any of the chapters from khumasi in verb in arabic khumasi means five root letters do we have any kind of chapter in verbs from khumasi Any one of you? What I remember oh. studies said you it is in master and not in actual verb, but I might be wrong. That's what I remember. I'm just asking you, is there any Khumasi Mujarrad? G there is Khumasi Mujarrad. Khumasi Mujarrad. And any example? This is biggest statement you are making. You should be very well aware of that. No, I, I, I haven't actually looked into it, but I just remember what you said that Khumasi Mujarrad is there. Did I say about verbs or did I say about is asma ismun? Ah yes, actually you said about asma. Yes, yes, yes. I mixed it with masdar. Yes, you said it's in asma. Okay. Uh, so before closing uh, today's session, I would uh, uh, try means uh, like to mention some points that you have to go through them uh, before we start uh, resume our sessions uh, very formally tomorrow, inshallah. So first of all, you must be knowing about Mizan as Sarfi as we have, we have been doing uh, this exercise today. Uh, number two, the Abu Wab. They 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 are uh, they they are uh, in type of Tulathi Tulathi Mujarrid and Mazisi then Abwab they belong to Rubai Mujarrid and Rubai Mazisi first of all this thing then uh, we learnt about you know that uh, Mazi and Mozari so in Mazi and Mozari di Gardan you must be uh, familiar with them then we learnt about Manfi and Musbat. And we also learned about Mazi Qareeb, that is what? Present perfect. And uh, Mazi Ba'id, that is past perfect. And Mazi Istamrari, that is past continuous tense, if you remember. And uh, what is the way to make them? We learned about Fail Mazi, then Fail Mazi, Ma'loom, and Majhul. And the difference between both of them. Then we learned about how to make Mazi Majhul from Mazi Ma'loom. Then we learned about the Muzare and alamat e Muzare, how the Muzare is formed or made. And uh, then we learned about Muzare Ma'loom and Muzare Majhul. Then we learned about, means what are the, uh, means we learned before that, Atayna, Huruf Atayna, and you must be remembering them, okay? We also learned about uh, transitive and intransitive verbs. Fa'lun Lazimun and Fa'lun Muta'addin. The verb that takes that, that does not take any object after that, and the verb that takes object after that, one object, two objects, or three objects, right? So, so you have to tell me the difference between felun lazimun and felun mutaaddin. Then we also learned about uh, amar. How to make Amar? What are the ways of formation of Amar? What are the very important points in that? Amar. Amar Hazir, Ma'loom, and as Amar Hazir, Majhul, then Amar, Ghaib, Ma'loom, and Ghaib, Majhul. We learned about Ismun Fa'ilun, if you remember. 
how to make it what are the sigas is then is mun maf'ulun if you remember so at least remember these things and uh, also tell me uh, the topics we have covered uh, just uh, uh, send in the group and we inshallah do that uh, means we, uh, i will uh, come to know that what are the points we have covered yet so tomorrow we are going to meet inshallah I'll let you know the time and uh, the first, i want to ask brother fezan badru he has been with us in the class today. Did, brother, do you have any problems? Yes, sir. Salaam alaykum, sir. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullah. Yes. In, inshallah, we'll be making things easier for you. Don't worry about that. Uh, but you need to remain with us. And uh, yes, I assure sir. you inshallah. that uh, I will spare a week or more than that. We may have a class. Where are you from, by the way? Yes, sir, I'm from Kashmir. Okay, so inshallah we'll fix time maybe in the evenings uh, to revise various things and also re for the reinforcement, uh, talking about various grammar grammatical points from Nahw and Surf and how to make those mean sentences and various things, combined exercises, inshallah. We'll try to make compact notes, inshallah, now, now onwards, and inshallah I'll share with you as well. So I will 